Hello everyone, it's BDR Kelson, aka Kelson64, your favorite moderator from the Gran Turismo subreddit. And in this race, I want to get your opinion on, uh, well, the player that's in P1, Vengeance. And you tell me whether he's dirty or not. You know, some people just don't like to be passed. And that's that. Now, we're coming up to an area, not this turn, the next turn. I want you to see how he takes this upcoming turn right here. You can see he goes all the way to the left, comes out of the turn, and stays to the left. That's important. This is lap one. And you can see that he's got a pretty good gap. Topher tries to make a pass on me, but just not going to happen. He kind of didn't really have a whole lot of room there. I don't think that was a dirty move on his part. I don't think it was a dirty move on my part. I thought that was just decent racing. He saw an opening, albeit very small, and tried to take it, and he backed out. And that's really the only incident until lap five. But I want to keep it with this race so you can see uh, that I'm pretty much hanging with with Vengeance in this race. Uh, he's a little bit faster than me in the first sector uh, of the race, but I tend to be better in the turns as the Alfa Romeo is a lot better in the turns. Uh, he's better on acceleration, and I just absolutely suck at this turn right here. I always lose time here. If I could take this turn halfway decent, I would win every race, I swear. It's just the bane of my existence. But the rest of the track, I'm pretty, pretty consistent. I won't say good, but I'm consistent. But you can see, just in that first sector, sector Vengeance did open up a little bit of a of a lead now let's look at him in this turn once again coming out of it stays all the way to the left now i'm making a note of this to see what kind of lines he takes and just so you can see Topher is still fairly close to me uh racing clean props to Topher on that illinois uh he Illinois, I guess, is the way he spelled, or is the way you pronounce that one. Uh, the last race, he was right behind me, and for practically the entire race, and race clean, props to him as well. And as you can see, I've closed in on Vengeance again, uh, because I am better in these turns than he is. I think that is probably not a result of I'm just better as far as skill-wise. I think it's just a result of the car that I'm, that I'm using, the car that I selected. Uh, I believe he's at the GTR and just better acceleration, but not quite as good in the turns. And you can see that I opened up a little bit of a gap there on Topher, which is good for me. And that's probably the best I've taken that turn all race and as you can see vengeance did not get a gigantic run on me which is good for me now i, I want to point out here as you watch the as this race progresses okay we're going back into this turn so i'm going to focus on vengeance again he makes the turn goes right there Again, I'm making a note of this on how he's on what his lines is, and what what his normal lines are, because if I do get close enough to make a pass on him, I don't want to, you know, impede him in any way. I don't want to fight with him. I don't want to slow down myself. As you can see, Illinois is, Illinois has passed Gopher, Topher, Gopher. Uh, and so here we go into this last set of turns on lap three. And as you can clearly see, 
I am right on top of vengeance now. Now, I can point out something from starting right here. Had I been a dirty racer, if you watch from this point on, basically, I could have taken vengeance out pretty much at will here. I mean, you can see that I'm pretty close to him here. Going into this turn, I could have dive-bombed him, uh, knocked him aside, even though I wasn't really that close. But uh, as you can see, I actually took that turn fairly decent for me. For me, that's that was a decent turn. That was a good turn for me. But as you can see again, he was a little bit better and got off to a little bit more of a lead on that first sector. And again, we're going to show him going into this turn right here. And again, all the way to the left, practically running the white line. But as you can see, coming into this area here, I am just faster. And again, right here even, I could have, you know, used him as brakes. I could have smashed into him if I wanted to. Didn't want to, never even crossed my mind. But you can clearly see that I'm right on his bumper practically now. There's only maybe one or two car lengths in between us as we go into these final sets of turns here. Now, also pay attention to my accelerator down at the bottom here and see where my braking is. Now, if you notice, I don't want to, I'm not even getting into slipstream. I know that I'm faster on the turns. It's only the fourth lap. And again, right here, I probably could have smashed into him. Now, he makes a bad error there. I literally lifted and tried to be, like, you could see that I tried to move over to the left to give him some room, but, you know, physics, physics, momentum, not much you could do there. So here we are coming up here, and I am right on his tail. And we're going through this turn here, and I get a much better exit. Now going into here, now he's all the way to the left like he has been, but now look at him, he pops out, and he tries to run me off the track. I lift to give him this position. Not interested in ruining my race just because of this. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Again, if I was, a, I could have knocked him around there probably if I wanted to. Could have also knocked him around right here. But watch here when we get into this turn, I believe it is. He gets it all wrong. I think it was this turn. He does get it all wrong. I did not touch him. And now he's just, he's got a penalty. He's, he's obviously knocking me off the track. And that's the end of my race, basically. I ended up coming in fifth place, I believe. And of course, I don't know what happened to Vengeance. I don't care. He lost, he lost that position. Yeah, I'm right here in sixth place and that's that's basically it. I had a, you can see Illinois and Steve are in front of me. I believe Illinois does pass Steve and Steve is, I was right on his bumper throughout the last lap, this final lap at the end of the lap and didn't really, I didn't want to be aggressive. Uh, but anyway, that's that. I guess, you know, some people just, they don't like to be passed even when it's a clean pass. And when they lose it under pressure, they can't handle pressure. And when they lose it, they just take out whoever. You know, it is what it is. You know, Vengeance knows that he was dirty. Now, he's an S-rated in SR, so he's obviously not always dirty. But that was just rather pathetic. And that's the way it goes. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Take care.